Now then, this here is a Monterey Cypress and we planted it two years ago when it was about this big. So it was a reasonable size, pot grown. But look at it. It's increased its height by at least three times in two years. That's amazing, isn't it? Anyway, what brought this video on was I was out in the woods on an estate with some historical connections to Joseph Banks. And there in the edge of the woods is a big Monterey Cypress. So I was able to get some footage of that. So we'll let, let's show you that, but that is certainly impressive. And I have actually milled some of this timber before and it's a very pale honey colour, very even grained and apparently it's incredibly durable. So something to be considered when planting. Okay, let's just have a look here. See that there in the distance? Let's go and have a look. That there is a yew tree. And there's quite a few yew trees around. But through here, there's something more interesting. I'll come back to you when I get there. It looks like it's had a branch off recently. And let's go and have a look up there. There, yes. It's a lot bigger tree than you imagine. So well, let's just have a look at the, the base of it, at the trunk. We'll just fight our way through here. And there we are. see if I can just perch the camera somewhere. So there we go. It's pretty ginormous. And of course, it's a Monterey Cypress. Very durable timber. but can be as hairy as anything. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you this. It's of considerable age. Shame about this big branch being blown out but it's had lots and lots of wind damage over the time it's been here and there's lots of cones here lots and lots of cones so this is a bit of uh, cypress it's the top of that gatepost so I'm just going to plane it up and I will switch the sound off for that or turn it right down so, noise alert.
so as you can see from the end there this is very even grain and look how nice that is and this must have been cut ooh, seven or eight years ago and as you can see it hasn't been um, looked after that well it's been undercover ish but it's beautiful looking stuff Now why is that just gone a bit dark coloured? There, yeah, that's better. So there you go, that's what it looks like. And apparently if you look it up, it's stable and durable and dries evenly and all those sorts of things. So here's a cypress and you can see here the cones. That's last year's it's open and that's this year's and here's a cone from a Monterey Cypress and you can see here hopefully if we stay in shot which is a bit tricky that's where it'll split open on those lines so there you go that's the difference when they got really big cones it's a Monterey Cypress. Not sure what form of Cypress this is, what species. It could be a hybrid or anything like that. But the main thing about the cypresses are that they're shade bearing, which means that it takes a lot of shade to kill off the uh, the lower branches, which again means that. If you're going to plant them for timber you need to plant them very close together and even prune them as they get taller. In Welbeck Estate in uh, Nottinghamshire there is a block of uh, Leyland Cypress uh, planted very close and when you go in there it's like walking into a cathedral yeah, but I believe that's been pruned. It's the, you know, you've got to get rid of the uh, got to kill the branches lower branches off by shade and then you must prune them off otherwise those dead branches will stay there for years and the tree will grow round the dead branch and cause dead knots which is a pain in the neck and um, this also happens with like Douglas fir and larch so pruning the small dead branches is very important for quality timber. Hopefully this has been uh, interesting and of some use and I will catch up with you soon.